For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, so as I mentioned in the previous video, there are some anomalous configurations, some weird exceptions to the off-bow principle, and two of them here are chromium and copper. How exactly are the exceptions? Well, let's see what we get from the expected configuration using the off-bow principle, and then kind of see what the actual configuration is and how it relates. So the condensed uh, ground state configuration for chromium would be everything up until argon, which is 18 electrons, and then there's going to be 4s2 and then 3d4 for a total of 24 electrons. So the orbital diagram for that would look like this, 4s2 and then 3d4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. What's the actual configuration? The actual configuration is 4s1, 3d5, which looks like this, 1, 2, 3, Four, five. What's going on here? Well, this actual configuration, we've got all of the 3D orbitals half filled with electrons. We don't have this one that's totally empty. So basically, the electron that was in the 4s orbital kind of dropped down to the 3D orbital. Okay. So basically, what's going on here is that having all of these 3D orbitals half filled, and this one uh, 4s orbital also half filled is more stable than having the 4s orbital filled and the 3d orbital kind of left hanging with that empty one there. So the idea simply is that having them all half filled is more stable in this case. More stable. Okay. So that's what's going on there. This situation is more stable than this. So this is an exception to the off bow principles expected configuration. Copper, similar idea actually. It's got 29 electrons. So everything up until argon is 18. So two more would be 20 plus nine more would be 3d9. So we'd have 4s2 and 3d9 would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you might imagine what happens here. This this orbital here is only half filled while the uh, the rest are filled. So what's going to happen here is that we get 4s1 and 3d10. So this 4s is 1, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here, having the 3d completely filled as opposed to having the 4s filled and the 3d nearly entirely filled is more stable. So this situation here is more stable than than this. Okay. So again, an exception to what we would expect from using the alpha alpha principles. Okay. So I want you to definitely keep chromium and copper in mind for sure. But also keep in mind that there there are others. Okay, just be aware of this concept if you're ever asked about questions re relating to electron configuration, especially when thinking about the transition metals. Also, consider the the other elements that are are in the same group as chromium and copper, like molybdenum and 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 silver. Keep in mind what might happen with those, or what in fact does happen with those. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.